So, I guess I'm doing reading vlogs again? I mean, they're a bitch to edit, and I feel like nobody watches them, but... Whatever, I guess. I'm reading Not Your Villain right now, and it's amazing. I love bells, and there's already been two moments worth snapchatting about. Should I give you guys my Snapchat information? I mean, I guess I could. I do Snapchat about what I read. But I do Snapchat about other things, too. So, like, would you be interested in that? I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you're actually watching this. Wow. What a novel concept. So, before I talk about the Snapchat-worthy moments, I'm going to give you a spoiler alert that one... If you haven't read Not Your Sidekick, this is going to be a spoiler for Not Your Sidekick. And two, it's a minor, minor spoiler for Not Your Villain. Because it's not a, it's just a spoiler in the sense that, like, you know what, you know a family moment now instead of, like, it being a surprise. But it's not a plot spoiler in the slightest. Neither of them are, actually. They're just funny lines that I like. But in order to explain them, I have to reveal something that was revealed in Not Your Sidekick so that it's a spoiler for Not Your Sidekick. So, but if you don't care about spoilers, then you're in the clear. And if you do care about spoilers, you can stop watching the video. So let's let's talk about the Snapchat worthy moments now. So the first one is when Bells is leaving for MetaHuman Training School and he's saying goodbye to his family. And his dad is like, if you need help with your tee shot, call me. And he's like, Dad, I got it. And then there's, like, a little paragraph explaining about how, like, he's a little squeamish when it comes to needles. So his dad has been helping him with his tee shots. Um, and he usually gets a patch when he goes to uh, MetaHuman Training School. Which is the coolest thing in the world. Like, a tee patch? That is, like, some cool shit. Do we have that? I feel like we don't. At least not in the way that they probably do in this world. But anyway, I think that would be cool. If they had tea patches like that, like I'm thinking like you just you just slap it on and like you're done. Like it just like seeps into your skin and somehow works. I don't know. If we had tea patches, I might consider going on tea just for the sake of like deepening my voice a little bit. That's about it, y'all. See, that's why I don't, that's why I haven't, like, done it, because, like, I don't want facial hair, and I don't, I could care less about the other side effects besides the voice thing. Like, the voice thing is all I care about. So, like, if I have to give myself a shot every month just for that, like, you know, it seems not worth it. But anyway, I digress. He forgot the patches, so instead he's going to have to be giving himself the shots. And the and the thing, it says he practiced the night before, so he thinks he can handle it. And I was just like, this is some quality content. Um, the next one was the peak of trans humor. It was just um, somebody came onto the train that he was on. This person was going to the art camp that Bells was telling his friends he was going to and asked what his name was. He was like, Bells. And then the person was like, cool name. And Bells was like, thanks, I picked it out myself. And I was just like, ah, I see what you did there. Um, so I'm going to have to start using that because that is just a quality line. I'm only on chapter two. That was all in chapter one, and I read it while I was getting an oil change. And it was really hard to read because this obnoxious person kept talking the entire time I was there. But anyway, 
uh, yeah, I'm going to start reading chapter two now, and I'll tell you guys what I think. So, I read a chapter, a whole chapter. These chapters are really long, y'all, okay? So, like, the first one was, like, 20 pages, and this next one is, like, 20 pages. Like, the one I read, like, 20 pages, but it was just one chapter, and, like, usually I hate that. But, like, it's just so good, y'all. Like, no, like, Snapchat-worthy things. Well, actually, one Snapchat-worthy thing happened, and I was just too lazy to take a Snapchat of it. Uh, basically, I was talking about um, how Bells was, like, starting to use his powers, like, more and more to try and, like, get better at holding his shifts. And, like, first he tried, uh, like, changing out of his binder and shifting half of the day. And then he got to where he could do it for the whole day. And I was just like, damn. If only, man. But then I got to thinking, like, does Bells want top surgery if Bells can, like, just shift? Like, that is, that is a real question that I have. And I doubt it'll be addressed. But, yeah, like, I wonder if he wants top surgery, if he can just shift easily. Because, like, he doesn't dye his hair because he changes it with his powers. So, like, does he want top surgery or does he just, like, deal with it? I don't know. I feel like he would probably still want top surgery. Because, like, think about it. If you're tired, you don't want to, like, use your powers. And so how do you deal with the dysphoria then? This is a very rambly way of, like, it's just something that I thought of while I was reading. And I was just like, huh, I wonder. But, yeah. I wish that I could shapeshift and not have to wear a binder. That would be so nice. Also, I mean... I could just get top surgery, but, you know, I'm too scared to call my insurance company to see if it's covered, so, I don't know why you're getting all this shit in these reading vlogs, but, like, I guess, I don't know, but anyway, uh, that is what I read tonight, and I'm gonna be reading tomorrow some. But Wednesday, watch out, it's a fucking double show day, which means that I'll have a shit ton of time to read because, uh, I'm never gonna leave the theater, yay. But for real, y'all, I might finish this book by Wednesday. It's, it's really good, and... Double show days mean I basically, I read almost all of Not Your Sidekick on a double show day. So, we shall see. But if I don't finish it by Wednesday, it's fine, because we have more double show days, I think, on Saturday and on Sunday. So, like, if I don't finish it by Wednesday, I'll definitely have it finished by Sunday, probably. So, this reading vlog is probably just going to be, like, pretty... It's not going to be short, because I'm going to ramble a bunch, because it's just... I, I don't know, I, I, love, I love the book, and I like talking about the book, and then I, like, have theories, and then, like, I talk about my own thoughts, and, like, it's just it's a mess. So, while I may finish the book quickly, you're, this reading vlog is still probably going to be, like hella long for what it is, and that's because I ramble way too much, but anyway, that's all I got for now, and we, uh, let's see how much I read tomorrow, who knows. So I'm coming at you now from a laptop screen lighting my face because I am lazy and don't want to turn on a light. I'm cheap, but anyway. I read a lot today, actually, and, like, I read it at the theater. Y'all, I tried to read some, like, today before I went in, 
for my call time. And, like, I almost fell asleep. And then I get to the theater. There's, like, everybody's, like, talking around me. And I, it's fine. I can read no problem with the distractions. So, like, apparently I read better in the green room at my theater than I do in my bed, which I think is crazy. But, speaking of the theater, tomorrow is a double show day. So, guess who's going to be reading a shit ton tomorrow? It's me. Probably won't have time to record much of it. You'll probably get another video like this after the fact. Which, can I point out that this laptop is making the bags under my eyes look real bad? Like, I look like a zombie. Anyway, though. I'm gonna be doing some mad reading tomorrow. And today, I did some some pretty mad reading. I, I read, I don't know how many pages I read. But I read quite a few. I read, like, up to and a little bit past the second part of the book. Because the book is split up into three parts. And I read up to and a little bit past the second part. So, you know, I'm getting there. Nothing Snapchat worthy happened besides the name drop of the Sidekick Squad. Uh, so that was really the only Snapchat worthy thing. But it was really nice because... Um, so the first part of the book is basically covering what happened in the first book through Bells' perspective. And, like, I liked that. That was great. But it's nice to, like, have the continuation of the story. That's where I'm at now is the continuation of the story. So I'm like, yes, I get to see what happens afterwards. So I'm really excited for the rest of the book. Also, there was, like, a truly relatable moment that happened where Bells, like, forgot to do laundry and didn't have any binders clean. So, like, he'd been he'd been shifting, like the whole day, and so his powers weren't, you know, up to par. And I was like, if that isn't a mood, I don't know what is. Because, like, I forget to do laundry all the time and don't have clean binders, but I don't have the power to shape shift. So I just deal with it. That's what I read today, and I'll try and update you tomorrow if I remember, but I might be too exhausted to remember, and I might be like, yep, time for bed, and like, fall asleep. So, if that does happen, I'll update you the next day, because the next day we only have one show. That's how that's going. Also, little life update. Moved my entertainment center today, so I currently only have to move uh, one bookcase and my bed, and I'm not even going to be using my bed. That's up in the air, because there's a bed provided, and I'm using that bed because it's smaller. But I moved my entertainment center, and so my night, my room is looking, looking good. It has some furniture in it. That's mine now. Uh, so yeah, I still have a bunch to pack. I got to take down my posters, but you know, I'll, I'll get to it. I'll get to it maybe on Thursday. Um, so anyway, that's my packing update, and hopefully. I will update you on my reading, my mad reading progress tomorrow. Hey guys. Once again, I'm being lit by my laptop and also this candle, which I had to light because, of course, you guys don't know this, but literally, like, almost every night and every day, my roommate smokes weed in the house. And doesn't open a fucking window. Doesn't open a fucking window for anything. So it smells like weed in here all the time. Despite the fact that I'm on the second story. And my door is closed. So candle it is. And since it's such a small candle, I have to keep it right up to my nose. So I don't smell the weed. So I just breathe in the candle and not the weed. Because I hate the smell of weed. I have nothing against it. I've done it. It's whatever. But it smells like fucking shit. And, you know, it's real easy to open a window. The smell is going to escape the house anyway, no matter if you open a window or not. You could at least be courteous and open a fucking window.
But anyway, I digress. Not Your Villain uh, is real good, and I'm almost done with it. Like I said, I read a lot today, because it was a devil show day. And, you know, it was... It was a pretty great read, honestly. Uh, there were more quality, relatable trans moments. And I got a surprise. I got, well, okay, I got two surprises. One of them was when uh, they stumbled upon some characters who I won't reveal, like, what their relevance is. But uh, they were introducing themselves and they were like, yeah, my name's Cal, they, them. And I was just like... Yes, that was my exact reaction. And the next surprise was when a different character, like a, like a character was like, oh, I think I might be asexual, but I don't know. I could also be aromantic, but I don't know. And then another character was like, oh, you should talk to my brother. He's aromantic asexual. And I was just like, so yes, those were my exact reactions. Uh, if you guys want to, like, see my reactions to shit, I, I do post a lot on Snapchat. I know I've already talked about Snapchat, but, like, seriously, guys, if you want to add me on Snapchat, just let me know in the comments, and I'll, like, post my Snapchat in the description with my other shit. Like, I just didn't figure that was something anybody wanted, but I guess maybe you do? Also, the plot... Uh, is real good. Um, I'm loving where the plot is going, and like, it's just it's so good. It's so good, y'all. And I can't wait to, I'm almost done with it. I'm like less than like, I don't even know, like 30 pages? I have like 30 pages left, maybe? It's not a lot. I'll probably finish it tomorrow, and I'll let you know, because I'll probably finish it before the show tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, those were my general thoughts on my, like, enormous amount of time that I had to read. I can- the candle isn't helping that much! I'm still smelling the fucking weed! And I fucking hate it, and I can't wait to move out. I'm actually kind of glad that they broke the lease, because I will be paying, uh, cheaper rent, and I won't have to smell weed every fucking day. That's all of my thoughts for today. Sorry it got a little ranty, but there's only so much I can take. I specifically said when I moved in here, hey, I don't mind you doing this, but can you maybe open a window so I don't have to smell it? Nope. Disregarded it completely. I was like, oh, hey, maybe spray some osium take care of the smell. I just, I personally hate the smell. Nope. Does nothing. Absolutely fucking nothing to try and cover up the smell. Despite knowing that I hate it and that I am here. So whatever. It's fine. I'm moving out soon and I won't have to deal with this. And I'm sorry you guys are getting all of this like ranty emotional shit. But, you know, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Guess who's back at it with the weed? It's 12.23. It's 12.23 in the afternoon. And they did this at midnight last night. So, it hasn't, it's been 12 hours. It's been literally 12 hours. And, nope, we're back at it again. And this time, not even with the proper bong, because they broke that, apparently. And now, they're using a plastic bottle and some tin foil, Like, and they were like, hey, you should come try it. Come try it, come try it, come try it. And I'm like, no. I have YouTube stuff to do. And they were like, aw, you can do that afterwards. And I'm like, no. I, I don't want to. One, I don't have anything to get the awful taste out of my mouth. And two, I just don't want to. So, yeah. It's been a time. But Look Human was having a sale, and apparently they have a books section. I've only been to their queer section, but apparently they have a books section. 
And they, I just bought a shirt because they were having a 30% off sale. Plus the fact that their baseball tees were already like marked down. And so I bought a baseball tee, a blue baseball tee, that says, I'm sorry, I can't. I have a long list of books to read. And, like, I'm in love with it. And it's going to be here before Christmas. And I'm going to wear it on Christmas because I asked for a bunch of books for Christmas. And it's just, it's going to be good. I really have a problem with buying things on Look Human when they have sales. Because last time they had a sale, I bought a hoodie. And, like, time before that when they had a sale one time I bought a mug like I just I keep buying things so you know whatever though I'm gonna actually I'm going to try and escape the smell of weed by uh, moving my bookcase my final bookcase uh, to my new home and yeah after that I may come home and read but I'm gonna do that so I don't have to fucking put up with this fucking smell because I fucking hate it so much and I honestly just wanted to update you guys about the shirt but then they started smoking and I started smelling it and you know that just it just really fucking pisses me off and I can't wait to move I know I said this before but I can't wait to move I need to start packing more because I can't I can't wait to do it the new house the new the only rule in the house is that you can't smoke inside that's the only rule of the house so I'm excited it's like 10 o'clock, which means that nobody is awake, which means that nobody is smoking, which means that my room smells fine. Anyway, I was editing a new end screen for my videos last night, and so I forgot to tell y'all that I fucking finished Not Your Villain, and it was fucking amazing! Like, I would give my life for Bells. He is such a great character, and the trans rep is like just... It's fucking quality. Like, I haven't actually read any bad trans rep because I haven't read much trans rep at all. I'm working on that. But, like, this was just really good. And, like, oh my god. Like, I was not expecting it to be as good as it was. But, like, I should have. I should have expected it because C.B. Lee is fucking amazing. Like, so... That is fantastic, and he's fantastic. He loves his friends. He just he just wants to be a hero, y'all. Like, it's so pure. Um, and I love him. And I am very excited that we got an entire book about him. Like, from his perspective, rather. Um, and... Yeah, like, it was just, it was just so good. And, like, the story itself, like, the continuation from Not Your Sidekick was just, oh my god, so good. And, like, I honestly, I cannot wait for Not Your Backup. I, like, I, I know it's gonna be, the story is gonna be just so good. And it's going to be from Emma's perspective, so that's going to be cool. Like, I don't know, y'all. I just can't wait for it. And it comes out in June, so I have to wait until June, which is not fair, honestly. But I guess it takes time to write books that are as good as these, but I want it now. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I might make a video, like, review on the series. Uh, but I, I really feel like I'm not that good at reviews, y'all. Like, I, I've done them, and, like, I just feel like I'm not very good at them. Like, I don't know. So I, I might stop, like, doing them, like, in, like, not maybe, not stop entirely, but, like, stop doing them for just, like, you know, everything. Because if I review everything, then, like, there's really no point in me having a wrap-up. And that, combined with the fact that I don't think I'm very good at reviews, kind of just makes me not want to do reviews for, like, everything that I read. So I might just do reviews on, like, the, the really good things that I read. Or <laughs> if I read something really bad, maybe I'll do a really bad review. Because there's not a lot of those on here. Actually, I don't think I have any bad reviews on here. 
with the exception of maybe the Cersei review, but the Cersei review isn't bad, because I gave it, I don't even remember, I think I even, I think I gave it five stars on Goodreads and was like, actually, it's a 4.5. I am inclined to lower that rating now that I think about it to maybe just four. But, you know, I haven't read it in a hot second, and I love Madeline Miller, so maybe not. Anyway, though, uh, that is enough rambling for today. I do have a question for y'all. Uh, do you have any ideas of what you would like to see from me on my channel? Because I personally am running out of ideas, and I just want to give y'all some quality content, but, like, all I can think of doing are, like, tags and games, and, like, that gets old after a while, you know? So, what would you guys like to see, and also I did add my Snapchat to this new end screen, uh, without you guys' uh, like, opinions on that. So, it just looked weird with three, so I was like, I might as well just add it. So it, the nice, it'll have nice symmetry. So I added it, and you are free to add me there if you want to. You don't have to, obviously. And, yeah. Uh, I think that's all I have to say. And I hope you enjoyed this reading vlog, and I'll catch you in the next one.